Hello, I'm JW, and this is part four and the final part of the Variac repair series. Uh, all that's left now to do is the electrical testing, just to make sure the item is safe and it obviously works as intended. Now, before I put the covers back on, I'll just do a continuity check to uh, confirm that the earth is actually connected through to all parts of the metal case. And the easy way to do that is just take the plug there with the uh, earth pin, just use this clip to uh, attach onto that pin. Need to set to continuity, and then we can just test with the probe to uh, check that all the parts are connected. Now this only uses a very low current, but it's just useful to confirm that we have actually got continuity, we haven't actually got any paint um, sort of blocking the uh, connections at the points there. I have actually removed the uh, paint from where the screws go in, so that shouldn't be a problem. So we should get the uh, beep on all of the metal parts, so uh, let's have a look. That's the main chassis there. We should also for the handle, let's put that new connection through. And again, we should get to the various uh, connection bolts on each side as well. And I'll just check a few of the terminals on the back of the uh, thing as well, just the uh, bottom of there. Good, so that's exactly what we want. And uh, as I said earlier, the uh, handle now is properly earthed, as is the uh, metal pointer there, and those screws as well, which uh, is obviously a lot better than it was before, because, uh, say, if some fault occurred and you uh, touched that, then, uh, of course, electric shock is the uh, result there. So now that's done, we'll just put the sides on, and then we'll do the uh, full current test and see if it actually does work properly. Now for the uh, full test on this, we're going to use the... Uh, Claire A255 here, and that just was plugging in the uh, lead for the appliance into the front there. And then we need to use this uh, green earth lead. And this attaches to any metal part on the uh, appliance itself, so in this case we can simply use the metal handle. Just clip that on there, and then we just switch on. Now this does uh, a couple of things. Uh, the first thing is it actually puts a uh, fairly high current through this uh, green wire, through the earth uh, case of the appliance and back through the earth pin on the plug there, and essentially to measure the uh, resistance, and it also uses a current of about 25 amps. So if there was some sort of thin uh, whisker of wire just barely holding it together, that would clearly uh, eliminate that totally. So high current test, unlike the multimeter, which uses uh, in the order of just a few milliamps. And uh, the other option here is the uh, insulation resistance, which is between the uh, earth connection, both here and in the plug uh, earth pin, and the uh, line and neutral wire. So obviously you don't want any connection between the earth or either the line and the neutral, as of course that would show up as a fault, possibly make the item dangerous. So if we turn on the uh, switch there, uh, for this one we'll select the... Uh, 1250 volts, uh, the insulation resistance and the half ohm uh, earth setting. And then we choose the test button. Uh, this will actually show the uh, resistance of the uh, earth lead itself. Again, it should be uh, less than 0.5. If the uh, resistance is uh, suitable on that, it will just say uh, green on the two lights there, or earth and the uh, flash test. If not, it will obviously show in the red. So uh, let's see if it uh, passes or not. Okay, well, there we go. Both the green lights are on. And uh, the uh, resistance there is shown as to be uh, well within the required limit. And in fact, if we use the 0.1 ohm, yeah, again, it's still well under the uh, 0.1 option, which is what you'd expect as this is uh, fairly substantial. Uh, well, this is 1.5 uh, millimetre, and it's uh, say, fairly short there. So that's a successful test, and uh, we can actually uh, power the device as well if we want to. And again, it doesn't draw any current, which is uh, exactly what you'd expect, being a transformer, of course. It uh, only draws current when the output is connected. So again, that is fine. Turn that off. Yeah, you 
obviously when it's in the on position you get that small amount of uh, initial current surge on the meter there. Just zoom in we can see that a bit more carefully. Now in this mode the uh, meter here will actually display the uh, current uh, drawn by the connected item or the variac in this case and uh, there's two scales it's either 0 to 15 or uh, 0 to 1.5. Uh, we use the 1.5 in this case as so that will be uh, more revealing. Now I've got the switch on the Variac turned off so uh, we shouldn't see any current draw at all. So if we turn on and as expected the uh, needle doesn't even move so that's fine. Now I'll set the switch to on on the Variac. Now although it's not having any low connected there will be a certain amount of current uh, drawn initially. That's simply because of the fact that it's a transformer and until the uh, windings are uh, saturated or the magnetic field has developed so there will be a certain amount of current flowing through there. So uh, we'll try that this time and we should see a certain amount of current flow and then drop back to zero. Yeah, and there we go. That was actually slightly off the scale there so uh, we'll try that on the 15 amp range. Again, that was about here, so we're probably looking at about a 2 amp uh, inrush current there, which uh, is actually quite small for a uh, sizable transformer like this. For this test, we'll just confirm the output voltages are uh, correct, and it does actually vary from uh, 0 to uh, the maximum. So we've got the uh, Varac here on the mains directly now, uh, control set at uh, 0. And the output from that uh, trailing socket there just goes to this uh, testing block and the two wires just to the meter which will display the voltage on the output. So if we turn on we should see uh, zero or a very small voltage. Okay, so we've got 1.1 volts. And if we turn the handle we should see the voltage increase as it goes. Okay, so we've got about 70 odd volts there. Now we can continue around to what's it, 120 uh, just coming up there. Now that's a 50%. So this is actually the wrong scale for this, but uh, it looks tighter than the other side. And uh, normally with any application, we're using a uh, meter to monitor the output anyway rather than relying on the scale itself. So we're just coming around to the uh, normal sort of main voltages of 240 odd, which is around here. And if we continue on, obviously we should be able to go above that, yeah, which we can. That's 270. Looks like it's going to go way above actually. Yep, 290 actually, right around at the 100% uh, there. So that's fine. 290s does seem a bit on the high side, but uh, it does of course depend on what the mains input voltage is uh, on the thing in the first place, which I think we'll just check that to uh, do a bit of uh, confirmation there. Right, I've just plugged that into the uh, mains directly there, so uh, the uh, reading there is the uh, mains voltage uh, that's coming into the property, and as you see it's around 255, which uh, does seem rather high, I have to say. In fact, if that's accurate, it's actually above the uh, required maximum, which is actually 253. So uh, that's certainly not what you want to be seeing. Either that meter is well out of calibration or the uh, voltage is in fact uh, at that level. So uh, that's uh, certainly rather interesting. Now you would expect it to be higher at this time of the day. It's actually uh, about 2 a.m. at the moment. So uh, obviously not a lot of load on the system, but even so, 255 uh, does seem excessive. So I think I'll get another meter or two and just see if we can uh, confirm that it's actually correct. Well, I'll just put that uh, older uh, meter in there and the uh, voltage is showing us 253. So uh, again, still uh, on the very high side there. So let's just try another one. Okay, here we've got an older fluke uh, meter and that's showing uh, 256. So uh, Again, it does actually appear the voltage is that high. It's not actually the uh, measuring equipment, it's the uh, voltage itself is actually 255, 256 sort of area, which uh, is definitely not correct. Well, I just want to got this uh, other meter, which uh, happens to know is correct. Uh, this is uh, 
showing it as 256. So uh, that other flute was right, and the other two were uh, certainly well within uh, the same sort of area. So yeah, that's far too high. It's the uh, maximum is uh, 253. So uh, and even 253 would be uh, very high, considering the uh, nominal is supposed to be 230. So that's the Variac refurbishment completed, and uh, no doubt it'll be being used in uh, videos in the future. That high voltage issue will have to be looked at later as well, as the uh, 256 volts is uh, above the uh, actual allowed maximum of 253, and even 253 would obviously be right on the limit, considering the uh, nominal is supposed to be uh, 230, so that may have to be looked at uh, at a later time. But until then, thanks for watching.